On June the 1st, the Defense Headquarters Abuja, worried by the festering banditry situation, decided to begin a military onslaught tagged Operation Accord in the northwest and, and northeast, northwest rather, and north central regions of the country. The operation, the military said, was aimed at bombing targeted bandits camps and locations across about nine states in the regions, which includes Kasina, Zampara, Sokoto, Kaduna, Niger, Kebi, Kanu, Nasrawa, and Benue. Barely a week after the operation, June 9th specifically, 18 persons were killed by bandits in fresh attacks on five com in five communities in the Faskari local government area of Kasina State. The bandits slaughtered the inhabitants across Kadiso, Kabalawa, Kwakware, Umuwar, Wahabi, and Raudama areas. Another statesman and Second Republic lawmaker, Junaid Mohammed, said how the bandits managed to regroup and strike Northwest communities continually should be a source of worry to the military if it was headed by efficient service chiefs. Joining us via Zoom is Audu Liberty Oseni, Coordinator, Media Advocacy, West Africa, to take a look at all of this conversation. Thank you for joining us, Mr. Oseni. Good morning, and thanks for having me. Now, the military continues to claim victory, but on the other hand, uh, there is an increase. People are being killed. What, in your view, is the reason for this? Well, uh, good. Uh, let me just say again, thanks for having me. But the reality is um, we've seen military um, claim to have um, won the war, winning the war. But the reality is that the war is not being won. Uh, you know, we have seen a lot of, com I, don't, I don't want to use the word misinformation, but we've also seen a lot of uh, what I can say propaganda because the reality is that people are being killed. For instance, the first carry you just mentioned, uh, a good number of them, they have left their places all in the name because they want to start life. As we speak today, as we speak today, in Pascari, for instance, there are communities there that pay money to bandit in order to stay alive. I also think that the reality is that it is a man or is anybody who do not have the fear of God that will say you're winning the war against the bandit in the Northwest. For instance, as we speak, in Niger State, in somewhere Shiroro area, a road leading, the shortest road from there to Kano, Akana had been abandoned. Nobody uses the road, right? So if you go to the same story is happening in Sokoto State. If you come to Benue State Forest and we have the same history, the same story. So the military needs to understand. Of course, for, for, of course um, sometimes about three days ago, four days ago, I spoke with a group of persons from Kassina. This guy maintained that they are being killed every day. In short, one of them said, or oh, no, people from Sokoto Forest, I had an interview with them, one of them, so, like four or five of them said that the military are killing bandits on Facebook. So that is indication, or that's an indication that these people don't believe that the uh, military is doing anything. Mm -hmm. But the What's reality that? is that it's not about... Uh, um, having the conversation on social media. It's not about press conference. It's not about talking to the media. It's about bringing the bandit to an end, bringing the war to an end. And you ask yourself, how did we get here? You know? So, so the, the reality is that the Nigerian military, the Nigerian, apart from the, even the Nigerian military, the Nigerian police and other security advocates, they should leave propaganda and go in and do the job. Well, so if I may ask you, is, if I may yes. suggest to you, uh, the statesman, Junaid Mohammed, alluded to service chief being one of the problems. And you are also establishing other problems that you have seen based on your conversation. What do you suggest? What do you think will be the concrete solution that we need? need you know at this time there are two basic things to do just two basic things and when you do these two basic things the the, the bandit even the boko haram will come to an end one you need to muster the political way one the state must the, the state particularly federal government they have to show the political way they want this war to come to an end two we must address the issue of conflict in chapter new Within the military arms, within the top military officials, even this police, we must address conflict in Chaprenion. People must realize that insecurity is not the type of people to make money. That's, that's the, these are the two basic things. And also, this also explains why I had argued. It do 
not, you do not, for goodness sake, you do not even need the military to take on this war. Mm -hmm. What you just need is the mobile policemen, what we call popularly called mobile. Mm -hmm. So the Nigerian state needs to do two things. Until we do these two things in the next 20, 50 years we are sitting, we must demonstrate the political will. We must demonstrate the political will and allow the military, allow the men on the feet to do the job. All right. right. Thank you so and very much. we must much. address conflict in Chakranium. Thank you so very much, Liberty Oseni, for your thoughts and contributions. Keep safe out there. All right. Thank you so much.